everybody welcome to my channel thrifting adventures if you are new to my channel my name is stephanie and my channel is all about how to save money from thrifting and make money from thrifting and about thrifting so today i want to share with you what i've been selling on ebay for the last couple of months the new year 2022 so i have not been putting much effort into my ebay listings uh this new year i've been putting a lot of effort into my youtube live sales into my antique space and things like that and trying new um websites and and try <laughs> to sell on any on other platforms so let me share with you what i've been selling for the new year so um, i'm not going to go in any in particular order um a couple items were free shipping but I started to list things with shipping, not free shipping. And I'm not sure if it's made a huge difference, but let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna share is I sold a pair of Miss Me jeans, skinny jeans. So yes, even though skinny jeans aren't like the trend right now, they still do sell. Not everyone follows the trends and stuff. So these skinny jeans sold for $16.99. And it is a popular brand, not as popular as it used to be. There was a time where you could sell Miss Me jeans for $50, $80. But again, I still made profit. Uh, next up, I sold a pair of Nike golf shorts. Now, I bought a bunch of Nike and Adidas golf shorts at the bins for a really good price. And I thought they would sell quickly. But it's taking kind of a, a long time for them to sell. But I did sell this pair for $19.99 in shipping. Uh, then I sold a purse I had listed, oh my gosh, like two years ago, a Rebecca Minkoff purse, black leather. It sold for $30 free shipping, and that was me reducing the price quite a bit over the last couple years. It took a long time. Another thing that sold was a pair of the North Face snow boots. These didn't take too long to sell. I did take a better price for them, so I sold them for $44.99 plus shipping. Another item, the North Face backpack. This sold fairly quickly. I bought this at a thrift store. I think I posted it in a video a while ago and it sold for $27 plus shipping. I sold a pair of Puma golf shorts. These are shorts I also found with the Nike golf shorts. It was like all in one area at the bins. I think I got like 12 or 14 pairs and I sold this pair for $14.99. So it didn't sell as much as the Nike uh, golf shorts, but it still made me a profit. Then I sold a pa uh, Patagonia Capoline Pullover, size 14. This is for a girl's, and it was $9 plus shipping. Then this item, oh my gosh, took me over two years to sell again. Like, it just sat in my eBay store. Han Anderson Green Dress, size 120. I believe that's um, middle school age. And so $9.99 free shipping. Oh God. So I made a few dollars from it, but it took me a long time to sell. Uh, I sold a Dudley Hawaii Pottery Ceramic piece for $40. Now this took me a little longer to sell, but it's not a super popular brand. Um, so I think it just took the right person to want to purchase this. And again, that sold for $40 plus shipping. I sold another, the North Face sweater fleece size small is $19 plus shipping but I don't recommend buying a lot of women's size small clothes they tend to sit a lot longer in your closet if you can I would look for size medium large or extra large um, size extra small small is just there's so much of it online that um, a lot of times I will avoid size smalls Another item that sold was a Tommy Bahama size extra large silk shirt. Uh, has that big bright Hawaiian print. This sold for $21.25. Now, I feel like Tommy Bahama does not sell as well as it used to sell. I remember a few years ago, it selling for $40, $50. So um, the de desirability of it has gone down, but I still made a profit. Another item sold is Seven for All Mankind Slimmy Men's Jeans. These are slim jeans, and they sold for $18. Again, Seven for All Mankind is a great brand, but it used to go for more money, like $40, $50. So again, you can still make a profit, just not as much. Another uh, popular brand, Made Well Silk Gray Top Size Large. Remember, size large is better. Sold for $19.49. Now, this sat for a while. And I hear from other creators that Madewell is a great brand and sells really well, 
But for me, it doesn't sell that well. I think the only reason it sold was because it was size large and it was silk. But um, I've never had very good luck with selling Madewell uh, clothes. Another brand that was new to me, but it was new with tags, was a pair of 1Z leggings. And they were new. And they sold for $27. I wasn't familiar with this brand. But when I found it at the bins, I looked it up and the comps were fairly good. So that did sell for me an uh, average amount of time. And then my latest big sell was a lot of Beyblades. And this sold at an auction. So I made it at an auction. I started off at $49.99. I thought it would go a lot higher. They just went up to $54. But I found these at the bins. They were in a bag. And it cost me probably less than five bucks. So I did make profit. If you don't know what Beyblades are, they're like these spinny toys. <laughs> and you put them in like this pla large plastic kind of bowl stage. And they spin and spin. If they knock one out, uh, knock one out, then stop spinning, then they win. It it's a kind of a game that's been around for a while. My kids used to really be into it. And there's some Beyblades that are worth quite a bit of money. So um, you want to keep your eyes out for them. But anyway, that is all I sold so far on eBay this new year, 2022. Uh, I'm hoping to list more, but lots going on in my life. So I'm kind of not putting a lot of effort into eBay, but I am putting a lot of effort into my YouTube live sales. So if you don't know what YouTube live sales, it is a sale on YouTube and I will go live. Sometimes I will pre-record sales and I do a lot of collaborations. So if you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, you will get a notification and to let you know when I will have my YouTube live sale. And at my YouTube live sales, I sell a lot of vintage items, glassware, jewelry, clothes, toys, books, um, vintage collectibles, all those kinds of things. And I have a lot of collabors that I work with or I'll go on other people's channels. So definitely subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. All right, until next time, see you later. Bye.